Good morning, everyone. This is Attorney Davis with Davis Legal Center. And as a part of my efforts to increase the message about voting, voting early, knowing your polling place, making sure you have valid ID, um, I wanted to make this really quick video about being a convicted felon and the rights that are deprived of convicted felons upon a conviction. So um, I'm the managing attorney here at Davis Legal Center and you know as many of you guys know we do quite a bit of work within criminal and civil rights I think it's important that you know before you enter into a plea or before you make a decision to proceed to trial that um, if you um, are pleading or you proceed to trial on a felony case and, are, and is found guilty of a felony that you will lose your right to vote you will lose your right um, to live where you want to live. Um, you will lose your right to bear arms or ammunition. Um, and then there's also some other things that are associated with being determined to be a convicted felon. Those are the main things. Um, so when you, and this is upon the conviction date. Um, or in the as we call it here in the legal system an adjudication once you've been adjudicated um, for a felony you lose all of those rights currently right now here in the state of Florida your um, right to vote if you are a convicted felon you can only vote if you have completed all the terms and the conditions of a sentence um, so you cannot owe um, you have to owe less than a thousand dollars for one and you have to have had completed all the terms and conditions of a sentence so that's very 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 important um, the election this year is on November 3rd 2020 make sure that um, if you are a loved one or a convicted felon that if you want to vote you can you just have to um, of course have completed the terms and conditions of your sentence as I mentioned before um, and owe less than a thousand dollars we in this movement we've been doing quite a bit of work and trying to get that um, get felons rights restored here in the state of Florida because we you know my position is that it is um, disenfranchising people of their uh, fundamental right to vote so I'm going to try to link a couple of um, organizations that are assisting convicted felons with this effort always comment below let me know stay connected with us in the work that we're doing don't forget to vote and also to complete the census because the deadline is today have a great day everybody go and be great bye